Hey guys, MI Treasure Hunter here. It is Tuesday, November 27th, and uh, hopefully you guys made it through Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Picked up some fire sticks, and now we're gonna get programming them. Programming them properly so you can give them away or sell them off, and everything will be installed properly. We're gonna go from start to finish as if you knew nothing. Um, so this will be a complete noob's guide, but the end result will be a fully programmed fire stick, just like fire stick sellers out there do. Please like, share, subscribe. I can't stress how important that is because it helps my search criteria get to the top and more people watch the video. And Anyways, let's get started. Up at the top, we're gonna scroll over. The very first thing you do is go over to My TV. And just to answer a question that somebody would be saying, yes, you sign in with your Amazon account because at the end, I'm gonna show you how to deregister it, but the way that I'm loading everything up in this video, everything will be there for the next person that comes along when they put their information in. If you don't follow my instructions, you're gonna be an ultimate fail. You'll hand the fire stick off, they'll load it up and they'll be like, there's nothing here because everything got erased. Anyways, go over to My Fire TV, click on it. Developer options, click on it. Go down to the second one. Apps from unknown sources must be turned to on. That's the most important thing to start with. Go ahead and hit the home button. Okay, now we need to install Downloader. So the easiest way is to hold the little microphone button on your Fire device and just say Downloader. Downloader. And right there under Apps and Games is download. We're going to go ahead and click on it. I apologize ahead of time of how long this video will be, but I am showing you from start to finish. So, and in this video, we're going to be going over download, ES File Explorer, mouse toggle, VLC player, uh, MX player, and YouTube. The core essentials that are absolutely needed to do this process. We're going to go ahead and hit open once it's installed. Go ahead and hit OK. Let's go over to the left. Go down to settings so it doesn't prompt us later, even though it might. Turn this JavaScript on to enable it. Then go back up to home and now we're gonna enter this URL right here and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so the next application is gonna be ES File Explorer. The link will be on the screen. It is case sensitive. Type it in exactly as it's shown on the screen. Gonna go ahead hit go. And we can hit okay. So, we're gonna scroll down do you see the download APK, this little blue icon? Click on it. And then once again, we're gonna go, and it always does that. So go ahead and hit close, then you're gonna scroll up, and where it says click here in the little, if you cannot see it, it's a little blue link. You click on that, don't know, why it fails every the first time but uh for me it does no big deal go ahead hit install file explorer is a very vital piece of software that's needed and used a lot okay you can go ahead and click open now what we're going to do Use your mouse or use your joystick toggle and go all the way over to the left and go down to the show hidden files. Turn that on. Just going to get that out of the way for now. All right, so that's all we need with this. We can go hit the home button to get out of there. So now we're going to go back to downloader again. We're going to continue on. When you go back to Downloader, you're gonna always see what it last did. So it's telling me basically that it installed this and I'm gonna go ahead and delete it um, because I wanna save the space on my Fire Stick. Go over, I'm gonna hit the home button and I can skip over to here and uh, use part of the link that's already there and I'll be right back. All right guys, and so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go back and 
download downloader but we're going to do it outside of the app store so now when you deregister it it'll still be there so that's why we're going back and i'm going to show you so first of all we're going to hit cancel do not try to install it at this point going to hit cancel after it downloads and do not delete it do not install just go ahead and just hit your home button okay now you're going to actually go over under your apps and channels go ahead and hit the three lines on your remote that'll bring up over on the right move move to front over here more info and uninstall we're going to go ahead and uninstall it because this is linked to your account so right now we are we just unlinked it so now there is no longer anything linked to your account all right so now let's go back over to es file explorer open it up and gonna go over to the left scroll down until you see local click on that scroll down to the second home the one that does not have the little home icon click on that now you're gonna just manipulate around and you're gonna have to get used to the way that you click around on the screen using your remote it's not the easiest thing but it is what it is we're gonna go over and we're going to highlight on downloader the downloader that we just downloaded is now in here so what i do is i usually go up and down and then click over because like i said this software is a little bit difficult to navigate around but anyways get yourself over so you've, you've highlighted that click on the icon now let's go and install it and you can click either always or this time only it really doesn't matter all we're doing is we're just going to install it and we can go ahead and click open and so there we go we are back to having downloader installed but it's not registered to your account anymore because we have now side loaded downloader and es file explorer this is where most people fail because they don't know how to do that that's a little known trick next thing we're going to do is we're going to install mouse toggle which is needed down the line also so i'll be right back okay so here is the address for mouse toggle and it should also be shown on the screen i'm going to go and hit go and because it was reinstalled okay scroll down to the green download link click it click down click over install and you can go ahead and open it okay guys here's something important to note there is a setting but it's not in this application but it says right here it looks like adb is disabled and it needs to be enabled for the mouse toggle to work so let's go ahead hit the home button go back up top to your settings scroll over to my fire tv and go back to developer options and this adb debugging let's turn that on normally i don't run that because you get this pop-up right here i usually click always allow and okay and uh maybe you won't get so many pop-ups but that's needed for mouse toggle to work all right once again okay let's go ahead and hit the back button hit the back button and let's actually go over to applications go down to manage applications click on downloader and do a force stop this is for some reason needed uh, downloader when it's first side loaded it acts up or stop it hit the home button now let's go back to downloader so next thing we're going to be installing is VLC player. I'll be right back. Okay, so there's the URL on the screen. And go ahead and hit go. Once again, scroll down. Click on the green download link. And 
and go ahead and install and just can click done and we could go ahead now and yes delete and delete because we don't want that extra stuff taking up space all right so let's go over to the left highlight the home button again click on it go to this URL address and click in the next URL and I'll be right back all right guys so this is for MX player URLs on the screen go ahead and hit go once again scroll down hit download and then install and we do not need to open this one up either so we can go ahead and hit done which brings us back to the previous thing that we were doing we can go ahead and delete this delete and so let's scroll over to the left once again back up to the home icon at the top click on it again and install the last of these basic which is going to be the youtube program so i'll be right back with the url okay so there is the url for uh side loading youtube i'm gonna go ahead and hit go scroll down hit the download link once again install and we will go ahead and you can hit open or or not it doesn't really matter we'll go ahead and hit open just show you what this is about so this will give you the ability to surf YouTube again and this is the best app out there so and you can actually sign in you know if you wanted to I'm signed out obviously because but anyways all right gonna hit the home button and I'm gonna go over and open up downloader once again it's gonna bring me up to the YouTube ABK that I just downloaded and I'm gonna go ahead and delete that just to free up space and so at this point we have side loaded download ES file explorer mouse toggle VLC player MX player and YouTube all the core essential things that are needed so that's all that I'm gonna cover in this video because this video is long enough if you've watched to this point congratulations you have just side loaded everything and so at the end when we're all done nothing is going to be erased that you've installed so far please once again like share subscribe there's a donations tab down there uh, if you'd like to uh, donate to the channel and uh, i'll see you in the next video